ITT Tech, Anthem, Westwood, and now ECA, all for-profit schools that have closed over the last two years and all with locations in Colorado. In Westwood's case, it got its start as the Denver Institute of Technology. Well, good evening. I'm glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. For students, there is a pattern to the way these schools close. Confusion, panic, and a sense of dread that a lot of hard work just went down the drain. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn joins us tonight from Ecotech Institute in Aurora, which is closing as part of the ECA shutdown. Russell, students learned this week the school is going to close very soon and for good. Yes, yeah, Shannon, for good and possibly taking students down with it. Students pay about $17,000 a year to attend this school, and now many are wondering if it was all for nothing. Students say the email came yesterday. Hey, did you get the email? I actually didn't get the email. My friends did. It says the school is closing as of what would be today, and I said it's got to be a hoax, dude. We've seen this a couple of times before. But Mike McGregor and other students quickly realized it was no joke. And I opened up my phone. And it's like, oh, f this is real. This is not a hoax this time. Ecotech was in its eighth year here in Aurora, a for-profit college specializing in wind and solar energy degrees. I couldn't graduate students fast enough. I mean, students who graduated from here were more often than not had a job before they even graduated, they had offers. But the dean of Ecotech, Brian Dyke, says the parent company, Education Corporation of America, or ECA, has been hemorrhaging money for months. Made some financial choices that weren't smart. ECA was struggling financially. It's emailed to students saying it is with extreme regret that this has forced us to discontinue the operations of our schools. Observers say ECA fell victim to its own misguidance, failing to adequately prepare students for the jobs it promised. Dyke says for profits are a failing model, way too beholden to shareholders. Now you've got people who want steady revenue, steady profits. Schools don't work that way. The collapse has left students like McGregor scrambling. I start contacting other schools before I even got out of the parking lot saying, hey, this is my situation. And it sucks because this is a renewable energy school and that is such big business now. While these doors are closing, the dean here says he's not turning his back on his students. He says they're like family, so he's working with local community colleges and other schools to see if they'll accept the credits from this school. We'll keep you posted. For now, we're live in Aurora. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks.